Hello friends, welcome to Jaltech Learning. In my previous videos, we done with our list view static, dynamic, customizing a list titles, adding a card view, adding a responsive on tap methods, and update and delete without animation. In this video, we are going to add animation state on update and delete of this list tiles. Let's start with our coding part. So that I just removed additional code from here and inside this we just have one titles bike boat bus cars railways runs inside our state object and inside this build method we are going to create one animated list to create an animated list you just have to add over here on any method as you can see we have our here an animation animated list and inside this animated list friends this is the same as we are used for a in a list view same as here we have to use a animated list here we here we have to add a initial item counts we have to add titles dot land this many values to our builder and inside this builder we are going we can add three things as we see in our list view in that part we just can add context index but here we also have to part one one more value which is named as animation and after that we have to return some value let's just return going to use size animation so that we are going to add size transition in that we have to provide one size factor we are going to use size factor as an animation so change this from animation because we are want to provide an animation after that if we want to add child and inside this we are going to use child as a card inside this card we are going to provide a child as a list tile and inside this list tile we are going to provide a title a title as a text and inside that we are going to evaluate one more expression tiles of index now we are ready with our transition effect as you can see now here we have a transition animation whenever some kind of changes apply to our titles to add two buttons uh, let let just add this animation list as a child to our column we want to add column over here inside this column this is the children of our column inside this children this is the list in which we are going to provide values and this is on widgets so just provide widgets now friends let's just add two button insert and delete of in this list to add two button we are going to use raised button or a i as you can see here a raised button inside this raised button we have one method on pressed or and one more method we have over here which is we are going to provide as a child which is a text in which we are going to provide insert whenever this on press button pressed we are going to call one more method underscore insert which is going to add value to this titles which animation and just let copy and paste this part again and in this button we are going to delete that value which is tapped and we are going to named it as a delete 
and let's just create this methods as you can see create method which is created over here and now let's just create one more method over here let's just copy and paste it down over here and just use as a delete now this to both method will be create now we have to add some code over here so that this will be reused let's use some insert code inside this insert suppose i want to add value as a i want to add value my name is inside here whenever anything is pressed so i want to add this name is as let's give this as a name after that we are going to add this value to this titles which is indexed let's just give value dot insert and we are going to insert this value always on third position three comma name let's insert this value at third position and if you want to add animation then you have to create one more variable over here which is a global key inside this global key you have to add if you work with form element of flutter then you know what is a global key which is provided by flutter to identify a unique id inside this you have to add animated list state as you can see we have to add animation list animated list state after that you have to add underscore anim because of this underscore this is a private variable which we can't use from outside after that you have to use global key this is going to provide you a global key with this this global key is you have to provide inside this animated list so that we can use it after to encounter this animated list so that just provide underscore anim now we have if you want to insert anything if and you want to add animation you have to add underscore anim dot current state dot as you can see here insert item and you have to add name of that item to insert with this index this index is always a Three. You have to provide an index value. As you can see, we are passing a value of three. Then just change this thing to a three. Now animation for insertion is provided because of this global key. Now just print this delete from everywhere if the value is available. Now if string suppose that we have we want to delete. name name is which is provided by us and we are going to delete it if and only if name is is available if titles dot contains name then and then we are going to do this part for this part we are going to use it's an animated list as you can see here animated list removed item builder this also required two things let's first of all give this name as a builder equals to this is going to two thing context and animation inside this you have to return which is we provided over here to return a builder you just have to copy this part we are going to just copy this part and we are going to use we get underscore build and we are going to return same thing from here and inside this builder we are going to take two values first is build context 
context and second one here is an index and after that we are going to take animation to use this underscore builder over here while returning use underscore build we are going to pass context after that we have to pass an index so that we can delete it we are going to give index as a colon to find index of it we are now friends we have to pass index over here to get an index we title dot index of and now we want index of name and we are going to store it inside here integer index equals to this and just remove this part you can see now our all error will be resolved we get an index which we want to delete from here we used this builder animation builder to remove the value and inflate new values over here at last here we have to add one more thing now we have to add the friend this is known as an animation builder whenever item will be removed this which is use which is going to use this builder at that time this animation will be used let's just semicolon over here so that this error will be resolved now we are going to do the same thing which we are doing over here underscore anim dot we are going to use a current state dot as much as like remove item we also have a remove as much as like insert item we also have a remove item inside that we are going to pass this index and after that we are going to give a builder from here to here here just add a l so that the builder is passed and let's this code is now completed let's just run this code and we are going to see how it's working as you can see inside this this animated list is placing the full thing inside over here to give a size to our animated list we have to add one more thing over here inside this column we are going to use this is we are going to use as a child and before it we are going to use a sized box now let's use one sized box over here as you can see as you as we add a sized box and the all the error will be resolved and now we are going to give a size over here inside this sized box let's give height of 3000 and let's run this code again as you can see as i give sized box between this animated list this will be visible and the data by boat and that's are added inside this list view now let's as we are going to press this insert button it's going to create one new state over here so that here we have to add after this completion of this we have to here a set state method so that it can call a rebuild the animation. Let's just use this button as I'm going to insert. As you can see, animatedly namish will be inserted over here. And let's just use this delete button. You can see the namish will be deleted. Let's push again. As you can see, the animation is working. All the thing will be deleted. Let's just insert it again. You can see namish will be inserted again and again and again. This is the animation of size effect as we provided here a size transition as an animation so that you can, as you can see as I am inserting something it's inter inserting and as I am going to delete third item will be deleted from here as you can see third item is deleted la, third item is deleted as we provided here tiles dot contain name name is then and then this is going to work means then and then the delete button is going to work if it's not containing anything then this delete button is not going to work we can place else button and we can provide a snack bar that the nemesis is not inside this list 
friends this is the animated view as you can see this is the animation which is provided by the size transition thank you friends thank you for watching my whole series on this list view now we completed all the part of the list view now i think you are a master of this list view if you are watching my these six videos thank you friends thank you for watching this video if you do like my this list view series then do like in this all videos and do subscribe my channel for my next videos on this flutter thank you friends thank you for watching this video